Hey guys, uh, so I went to a preview screening of Doctor Strange and let me tell you, there's a new doctor in town. Doctor Strange? You think you know how the world works? What if I told you the reality you know is one of many? So I've just got back from seeing the film and let me tell you, right away this film takes you into a new dimension of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Right away from the start of the film we see the main antagonist played by Mads Mikkelsen who makes his intentions very clear. So then we move on to more of an origin story about Doctor Strange played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Jeez, that's hard to say in succession. Um, and basically we see him working as a surgeon in a hospital and he's performing I think brain surgery. Um, and we straight away get an impression of how successful he is as a surgeon and also his arrogance that comes with it. This arrogance is a trait that is explored more throughout the film and sometimes hinders him and sometimes makes him successful. We then move through the story and we kind of see how he gains his powers and trains to be the person he is ultimately in the film. Um, he travels to Kathmandu I think and he meets the Ancient One um, and she basically naturally tells him all he needs to know and teaches him and trains him to be the person he needs to be. In the background to all of this during his training and that um, Mads Mikkelsen as the v main villain is doing what every supervillain does and wreaking havoc and plotting to take over the world. So going to the film, um, let me just say the visual effects and kind of the sequences within the film are absolutely mind blowing and there will definitely be a lot of accolades awarded to this film in the future. There were genuinely actually a few sequences in the film that gave me goosebumps. It was just that impressive. Um, I saw the film in 2D because it was a preview screening, but ultimately I'd love to go back and see it in 3D because I think the 3D will work really well and they will utilise it to the best of their ability. The kind of new world we've entered with Doctor Strange in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is just brilliant. It's so diverse and it has so much depth and there's so many possibilities that you could do with it in future films and storylines. Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, as you'd expect from his kind of stature as an actor, is exquisite in the film. He really portrays the role very well. Um, he's got a great sense of arrogance about him, which I previously mentioned, which he just plays perfectly. But also there's kind of a tinge of um, vulnerability about him when he's going through his training that you kind of sense upon as well. But ultimately it's the arrogance that drives him to the person he wants to be and what he needs to do within this new world. I was slightly let down by Mad's villain character in the film. Um, I loved him in Hannibal, the TV series. He completely encompassed that Hannibal character and brought a menacing yet, yet subtle kind of trait to it. Um, and it was just brilliant. However, I feel in this film, um, the screenwriters just didn't have enough faith in him and just gave him kind of a villain by numbers, classic superhero film role, which just didn't play to his strengths at all. Also, kind of a tiny little thing that bugged me in the film was just how easily uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, aka Doctor Strange, just kind of infiltrated this secret organization and learned all their kind of training and tricks um, without being questioned at all and he could have been anyone and they just kind of let him in and told him everything and told him everything he needs to know just with no questions asked and complete trust. I just felt that was a bit, they kind of waded through that and there could have been a few more questions by the secret organisation about who he was and his background and that but they were just like yeah we'll go with it, it's fine, uh, we'll tell you everything you need to know and we'll tell you all secrets about magic and kind of parallel universes and different universes and kind of who the dangers are and everything and it just, I don't know, it just felt a bit weird. Also, along kind of with any other Marvel film you have the kind of comedy sequences and the, the little quips in it but I just felt in this film they were a bit too kind of childish and obviously the film in the UK is a 12A which basically means anyone under 12 can be accompanied by an adult um, and I just feel there's a few bits in it that, that just weren't needed. Um, yeah there were some laughs in it but there are other bits that were just a bit slapsticky and I, I, I don't think it was needed. I think obviously if the film was elevated to a 15 I think they would have just got rid of that and it would have been more all-round kind of adult film. The film really moves at a fast pace and it never lingers on anything too long which is perfect kind of when you're setting up a new franchise and it's an origin story. I hate the films that just linger loads on kind of the origin and then have the, the final fight at the end. Um, whereas this moves quite fast and it works quite well. Doctor Strange is definitely a great acquisition for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and kind of expanding that whole universe. There are a few mentions of the Avengers within the Doctor Strange film. Um, I think it's definitely 
I think Marvel have definitely got a hit on their hands and I'm really hoping and praying and waiting for the news for the second one to be released. Ultimately, I'm gonna give Doctor Strange 8.5 out of 10. It's a really great superhero film, probably one of the best for the last few years and it just keeps the Marvel ball rolling forward and I can't wait to see what they come up with next. I am death and pain. You'll die protecting this world. This. There is no other way. If you've already seen Doctor Strange, um, definitely leave a comment below about what you thought of the film, whether it was good, or all the bad points in it, and hopefully we can start a great discussion. Um, also, it'd be great if you give this video a thumbs up, and um, I'll be back again soon with some more reviews. Cheers.